Our next guest currently stars as Martha Reeves in the hit Broadway musical Motown. That's right. And when she's not wowing audiences, she's fine tuning her upcoming album. Mm. Welcome, Sekhan Simbla. Thank you. How are you? I'm excellent. I'm so excited to be here. Yay. Really, really. We're excited, excited to have you. Yes. So let's yeah. get the party started. Okay. And we have to start off with your impressive name. Where is that <laughs> from exactly? Uh, my name, Sekhan, is a Liberian name. Oh, so yeah. beautiful. I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, but my dad was from Liberia, West oh. Africa. Okay. okay. It's my very beautiful. African sister. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you played Martha Reeves in the hit musical Motown. Yes. What's this experience been like for you? My ah, goodness. It's been amazing. Um, I, we first of all, we just got nominated for a Grammy um, for the uh, the the cast original cast album. That's great. So news. what's really exciting is you know every night I get to sing Dancing in the Streets. You know, we oh. sing Get Ready, Dance in the Streets. And so every night I'm calling out around the world. Are you ready for a brand new beat? I mean, it's, yeah, it's wait, a good time. Wait, you got to do that again. You got to get you on camera hitting those notes. All right. Yeah. I'm ready to dance in the street myself. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that was hot. Girl, those notes. That's Thank impressive. You. Thank How'd you. How'd you get yeah. that? Call it. Uh -oh. Calling uh -oh. out around the world. Are you ready for a brand new beat? Jamming. Hey, we're dancing in the street. Yeah. Dancing in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on backup. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but you're not way like, back up. I know, way back, way back, way back. I'm the silent backup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little dance steps, too. Oh, gosh. Now, you actually play two characters, though, in the musical, yes, right? Yes, I also play Edna Anderson. Wow. Well, her, na her name now is Edna Anderson Owens. Um, and hey, Edna, shout out to Edna. She lives out in LA and she mm. works with Mr. Gordy to this day. She's yeah. like a wow. personal assistant to him. So. So how do you do double yeah. duty? Everybody's well, grueling you know, every night. Yeah. The show, it's a big show, and there's a lot of characters, a lot of temptations and supremes, and, you know, everybody. So a lot of people are kind of doubling up. You know, yeah. you have a few people that are... There's one girl who is a Vandella, a Supreme, and a Marvelette. So, you know, we, oh, we kind of... We make it work. We make, we make it work. Wow. I'm having a good time with it. So how did you prepare to pay, play someone so iconic as Martha Reed? Well, you know, like I did... Like old footage? Do you listen to Martha and the Vandellas constantly? I watch a lot of her footage. Mm -hmm. um, she always sort of has this thing. She swings her hand like this, okay. you know, when you see her footage. I, you know, YouTube is amazing. We can just go online and just watch everything that's online, true. streaming and stuff like that. So that's been really exciting. And Mr. Gordy is right there with us. Um, he wrote the script and he worked on the show. He's producing the show. So, you know, we had him available to ask him anything we wanted to ask. So wow. that's been a blessing, being around Barry Gordy. It seems like such a fun show to be a part of. What's the best part for you? Um... My favorite part is singing dancing in the streets, honestly. Really? Um, okay. And also, you know, it, it's not hard to be around all those handsome guys. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the, That's the, a perk. the four tops and the, you know, the temptations. They sing so beautifully. And mm -hmm. the cast is like a full cast of comedians. Like oh, you really? can, we're just joking constantly, laughing and joking constantly. So. I went to see it a few months ago, and it is a party there. Oh, People yeah. are jamming, dancing oh, in the yeah. aisles, the whole thing. They, you, and you have your Diana Ross, mm -hmm. you know, all those beautiful songs that she sang. And yeah, it's a real good time. People come to have a good time. They do. Yeah, and they always leave happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they do. Now, before Motown, you were in another musical, Fela. Yes. Okay, now you got to tell us about this experience. I heard you had to audition extensively to play his muse, Sandra Isidore. Yeah, I did. Uh, Mr. Bill T. Jones directed the show. Mm -hmm. um, he directed and he did the choreography for the show. And, you know, he's a really intense and serious man. Like, he's... He's uh, really intelligent, probably one of the most intelligent people I've met in my life. Yeah. He's so pretty, yeah, he's brilliant. I, yeah, and it got down to me and another actress who's brilliant as well. And and the fact that I actually was able to play that part was amazing, mm -hmm. because I never thought that I would see Fela Kuti's music on Broadway. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it never crossed my mind. And the most interesting thing about about it is Sa Galja, who. Um, starred as Fela, he and I went to high school together. You're kidding. We ran a theater company together in Atlanta, Georgia called the Freddie Hendricks Youth Ensemble of Atlanta. <laughs> and we performed together before, so here we are years later Full being on, circle on Broadway. It was Small like, world. I couldn't imagine, I could not have imagined. I, I, honestly, I was introduced to Fela Kuti's music in high school by mm -hmm. Sa Galja. Oh, wow. So it was it was really, really a full circle moment. Hmm, my goodness. Yeah. So how did appearing in Fela impact your career? Because that was another huge Broadway hit. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it started off with uh, uh, the Hindles were producing it. And then Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, Jay-Z became producers of the show. Mm -hmm. And 
Uh, Quest Love was one of the associate producers. So, so we got a chance to interact with some of, I mean, I would just say the height of entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, Madonna came to the show. She came twice. She came back to bring her kids. You know, wow. Oprah came to the show. It was, it was probably one of the most thrilling moments ever because we were sort of, you know, at the center of fashion and culture and music mm -hmm. and, you know, hip hop was sampling Fela and everybody was wearing Gayle and, you know, it was, it was just it's like, true. it was a really intense time. We partied hard and we lived hard and we sang and we danced every night. It was a really good time. Uh -huh. wow. Probably one of my favorite shows. Okay. Well, you've been in so many over the years. You've been in also Aida, Rent, yeah. Hair, The Color Purple. Mm -hmm. That's an impressive resume mm -hmm. you have there. Thank you. <laughs> so what Thank do you. you enjoy most about being on the stage? Oh, man. Um, I say the live audience. Mm. You know, when you come out, sometimes even with Motown now, you know, I don't, uh, I'm not in every scene. So sometimes I'll just sit on the side and I'll watch when the Jackson 5 comes out, mm -hmm. the guys that are playing the Jackson 5. That I little see, Michael is oh, incredible. Oh yeah, we have two little Michaels, they're, they're wonderful. Michaels, and okay. when you see these guys come out and the, the people, the, the strings start, dun -dun 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 -dun, you know, the people, their eyes light up and you see them reliving whatever moment they had when they mm. first heard Michael Jackson, when they first heard the Jacksons, you know? And I'm always on the side screaming, Tito! <laughs> because uh, my friend Grace Sand, who, who's playing Tito, I, I just love him, you know? It's, uh -huh. it's amazing, I love it. I can imagine that you feed off of the crowd as well, too. Oh, it's yeah. more excited, they get, you get more excited up oh, there on stage. Oh, for sure, you feed off of that energy, and uh -huh. you just, you connect with them, and honestly, for me, the more noise they make, the better. Mm. You know, when we have those quiet audiences, it's, it's kind Kind of like oh, you know, you want them to give you back the energy because mm. we do eight shows a week. Wow, eight it's shows. a yeah, it's, it's a grueling. grind, and they add shows during the holiday season. Wow, do you yeah. ever get tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again? I mean, you know, you have your moments where you like it's a little bit like Groundhog's Day, <laughs> right? right. Kind of, <laughs> but you know, you're so thankful and grateful to have the opportunity. I mean, Audra McDonald came to the show the other day, and we had wow. just seen her doing the Sound of Music, and so you know, when you start meeting people, heroes like that, who are just so talented. You know, you're glad that you came to work, you yeah. know? True. So you began singing and rapping at age 10? Yeah. What yeah, were you rapping I, about back then? <laughs> yeah. I used to be in the basement doing Heavy D and the Boys. And how, how does that go? <laughs> how does that go? Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You know what? I used That's to do, back in the day, back I used in the to day. do all that stuff. I used to uh -huh. be singing and rapping and like I thought I was just putting on music videos, you know, in my, in my basement growing up. And you know, by the time I got a chance to be in the the, uh, the Freddie Hendricks Youth Ensemble of Atlanta, mm -hmm. you know, um, honestly, w we did this show that was called Soweto, Soweto, A Township Is Calling, and in that show, you know, we studied. Uh, Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. and we learned um, about Hector Peterson and Stephen Biko. You know, we it, it's it's um, just so bittersweet. You know, at this time that that Nelson has transitioned mm -hmm. because a lot of who I am and a lot of my inspiration as a youth, as an actress, as um, you know, whatever sort of um, passions I have were really inspired by that that movement, that South African movement and ending mm -hmm. apartheid, it was really, really moving for me. So a lot of that happened as a teenager and as a kid doing musicals and theater and plays. Wow. Mm -hmm. And now you're doing your own thing. You have a new yeah. single out called Be Her. Yes. Tell us what inspired Be you to write this it's ballad. It's called Be Here. Oh, Be Here. Be Here. I like that. Be here. Yes. Okay. So what inspired it's, that? You know what? I always tell people when I'm singing this song, I imagine Ozzy Davis and Ruby D together again, Aww. just dancing. Oh, that's you know, a beautiful it's thought. it's it's a song that's inspired by love. It's inspired by true love. It's about true love, um, and it's it's about the the simplicity of love and and what what that can inspire you to to feel and how how you feel when you're in love. And it's just a really lush piano ballad. There's strings on it, and I'm really really proud of the song. I've been working really hard on it. Mm. So yeah. So what's next for you? Um, well, I want to sing a little bit. Okay. 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 Yeah. Hit the hit us with a single. Yeah, yeah. Just okay. just a little bit. Just a little bit. Give yeah. us all you got, girl. Okay. I'm just a girl who likes simple things. The man of my dreams. Take care of me. I'm not obsessed with material things. The heartless flings are not for me. You and me are like honey to a bee. You be my Ozzy Davis, I'll be your Ruby D. Be with me. 
This is my lighter. I, I got like you. I got you. <laughs> Woo. Woo, that was hot. Thank you. Woo. Be my Thank Ozzy you. Davis. I mean, yeah, Ruby D. Oh, I like that. that. I like we got we to gotta celebrate love, you know? Yeah. We have to celebrate love. It's been really rough times around the world with a lot of violence and things, and mm. so I really want to push the love movement forward. You know, my music, I call it Vintage Pop Soul. And that's actually my Instagram name, Vintage, Vintage Pop, Pop Soul. Soul. I, I really, I feel like I'm, I'm sort of bringing that energy of the old soul music, mm -hmm. the pop, you know, I'm really inspired by people like Sade and Prince and mm. uh, Bill Withers, you know, so hopefully people can get all of that from me when they hear my music. My goodness. So when can we expect the album? Um, the album's coming in the spring, but this single spring. is going to be released December 16th. Oh, I'm okay. doing a concert at Drome, which is in the East Village in New York City, December 16th, um, a week from today. So people can come down to the concert. It's at 7.30. Okay. And I really want people to come and hear that song and, and other songs that are going to be from my new original album, new original music. And I'll be doing a few covers as well. So. All right. So, so much to look we're, forward yeah. to. Yeah. If you need backup, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope people will look for me. I, I, um, I'm working on a new project. Uh, I w was involved with some workshops for a project that's going to be focusing on the music of Tupac Shakur. So wow, I hope people will nice. look forward to that as well. Is that so. the stage performance? Yeah, it's going to be. Okay. It's going to be uh, in the theater. So oh, it's really, really check exciting! That out. People, people, look out for it. You'll, you'll, All we'll right. get confirmations and everything on that. So. All right. Well, thanks for Come stopping again by. Soon, okay. Thank you. All thanks right. for having me, you guys. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.